guys, I just that we are all well. Uh, today I want us to do something very quick in uh, financial management. Uh, I know this concept is very uncommon, right? And the concept that I want us to handle uh, in this class now is about uh, economic uh, order quantity component of uh, EOQ. These are, uh, of course, a very uncommon, uh, a very uncommon area in financial management. But it will be very important if at all we have uh, this knowledge right. So uh, when you're talking about uh, economic order quantity, there's a question that I've just uh, posted there. This is a question that, uh, of course, we did in a block uh, revision. So I want us to review that question again. It is very important that we have this knowledge, right? So looking at uh, EOQ, as I've always guided you, it is important that uh, we should always be having the formula. First of all, we understand that this concept is coming from uh, working capital management. This is under working capital management, under working capital management, where, of course, the whole idea of EOQ, we are looking at management of inventory, management of inventory. So in this question of ours, which I believe uh, it is a uh, very visible on our end, believing that uh, you can be able to see that question, so these are what you're told, uh, of course, by our good examiner, believing that the question is very visible. We're told that uh, Mac Connect Limited sells on average 2,000 units of product Mac per month. The purchase price per unit of product is 2. The cost of placing each order is 50. And carrying cost is 10% of the purchase price required. We're told to work out, number one, EOQ, that is economic order quantity. Number two, total relevant cost per annum. And number three, we are told to assume that the company has received a discount off of 1% for purchase of at least 4,500 units per order. Using supporting calculations, advise the company on whether to take advantage of the discount offer. So uh, when you are given such questions, of course, number one, as I've always guided you, being a quantitative paper, formula will earn you a mark. So right away, come and tell the examiner that you know what you're doing. So show this examiner that you know what you're doing by giving us a formula, which is about 2 BCO HC square root. That is our formula for economic order quantity. So after we're done with this, it is important again for us to identify the variables given. Like in our case, if at all you can see, the variables given, number one, of course, we have our annual demand, where we are told that uh, at this point, uh, Make Connect uh, Limited sells an, on average 2,000 units of product make. So in this case, you are having our demand to be 2,000 units per month. Remember, that is per month. That is where the catch is. So you need to determine for the whole year because B here stands for our annual demand. B there stands for our annual demand. So that was uh, the, the first catch. In that case, remember, you're given per month. So it is upon us to determine on a per annum basis. So a lot of confidence we'll be having, of course, 2,000 by 12 to give us what? 24,000 units. So here, I'll be talking of 24,000 the purchase price per unit of product uh, is uh, 2. So in this case, uh, our purchase cost, we are given 2. What about our ordering cost? We are told the cost of placing an order is 50. Cost of placing an order is 50. Then the carrying cost is 10% of the purchase cost. So carrying cost, we said that is the same as holding cost where the good examiner is telling us is 10% of the purchase price. So 10% of our purchase price, which was 2. See? That is uh, per unit. The purchase price per unit of the product is 2. And you're told that our, our holding cost is 10% of 2. So therefore, you just take, of course, 10% of 2, which in this case, we are having what? 0 0.2. 0 0.2. So that is what, of course, we should be having as you're looking at this question. So once you have identified the variables, I know I can now remove the question and everything will just be okay, right? So that you use 
our full board so that you use our full board. So allow me just to remove the question because now we have everything right. So our task here is to simply determine our is simply to determine our EOQ and therefore our EOQ very fast. We know very well that I'll be having two times our demand, which is 24,000 by ordering cost, which is 50. We divide by HC, which is 0 0.2. I should not forget to have what our square root. This will give us our EOQ of how many units. So we pick our calculator, of course, which I'm having two times 24,000, yeah? By 50, we divide by 0 0.2. I should determine the square root of that, which in this case, Molimu is getting our EOQ to be a value of 34, 64 units. Kindly confirm. If at all, we are getting the same value of 34, 64 units. So 2 by 24,000 by 50 divide by 0 0.2 square root answer. We are getting 34, 64 units. Can you confirm if it is the same value that you are getting? After that, we proceed to the next part where a good examiner is asking us the total relevant cost per, per annum. So when you ask of a relevant cost at any given point in time, whenever we are doing about a total relevant cost, in the event that we are having, of course, what? In the event that you are having discount, total relevant cost. In the event that you are having discount, we'll always be talking our, our TC to be our purchase cost, okay, plus our ordering cost, plus our holding cost. This is what will give us our total cost. This is what will give us our total cost. So therefore, there's a lot of confidence determining our purchase cost here. We can take, of course, we have 24,000 per annum. So that is a price per unit times the number of units. So we take 24,000 by 2. Talk about our ordering cost. You should always recall that ordering cost, we are looking at the number of orders, which is D over Q times CO. So there's a lot of confidence here. We are taking 24,000. Divide by the number of units, which is 3464, times our CO, which is 50. Then finally, when you're here about uh, HC, we're looking at the average inventory, which our average inventory, we're here about Q over 2 times HC. So with a lot of confidence, our Q is 3464. We divide by 2 times hc which is 0 0.2 see so this will give us our total cost and therefore we have 24,000 by 2 to give us 48,000 here we have 24,000 of course divide by 3464 times 50 which would give us of course a value of 346 3464 divide by 2 times 0 0.2 to give us 346. Recall, we said that at any given point in time at EOQ, our holding cost will always be equal to ordering cost. So therefore, what will we be having? 48,000 plus 346 plus 346, which will give us 48,692. Okay? So once you are through with our relevant cost in that regard, we proceed to the next part. The next part of the question, the examiner wanted us to do what? If I told you can confirm the next part here, we are told, assume that the company has received a discount offer of 1% for purchase of at least 4,500 units per order. So using supporting calculations, advise the company on whether to take advantage of the discount or, or not. Mm -hmm. So, that is a, a very important item, of course, for us to always consider. And therefore, what will we be having? We should be talking about, number one, we are looking at our new cost. So our new cost, what will we be having as our new cost? I'm having an offer that I'm given by our supplier. 
but with certain conditions. The first condition is that I should purchase any time I'm taking an order or queue. Any time I'm taking an order or queue, I should always be taking an order of 4,500 units. Currently, our EOQ is 3464. He will give us a offer discount of 1%. So therefore, you're doing about 2 times 99%. That should be, that should be, of course, we take 2 times 0.99 to give us 1.90. 1.90. Then, in addition to that, of course, I'll be having, being our purchase cost, I'll be having our new holding cost. Holding cost, it is expressed as a percentage of our purchase cost. So, 10% times 1.98, which therefore we should be talking about times 0.1, which would give us 0.198. That would be, of course, our holding cost. So once we are done with that case, the next step will be very easy. The next step would be easy because all that I'd be required to do now is simple. We want to determine now, we want to determine, of course, our case of what? That is, uh, we want to determine our total cost under discount offer. So the same case will apply purchase cost plus ordering cost plus holding cost. This will never change. And therefore, at that point, I should be able to pick, number one, my purchase cost now will be 24,000 times our new purchase cost, which you've seen, it is 1.98. Okay, our ordering cost, we should be having demand, which will not change, 24,000, but what will change now is our queue. If I purchase 4,500 units by our, that is our, of course, by our ordering cost, which will not change, to be 50, we have our holding cost. What about our holding cost? Our holding cost, of course, I'm going to take now my Q divided by 2 times HC, which is 0 0.198. 0 0.198. So therefore, as of the end of the day, what will we be having? As of the end of the day, we are going to talk of 24,000 by 1.98 to give us 47,520, 47,520, our ordering cost 24,000 divided by 4,500 times 50 to give us 267, whereas 4,500 by divided by 2 times 0 0.198 to give us, of course, 446. So that our total cost, we should be talking of 446 plus 267 plus 47,520, which I should be talking of 48,233. So if it were you, how would you advise this company? Without discount offer, the total cost is this much. With the discount offer, the total cost is this much. So if I told you to advise, what would you advise? To accept a discount offer or to reject that offer? Of course, advising on cost will always go with the one with the least cost. So with the discount offer, with the discount offer, this is our cost. With discount offer, this is our cost. This is without discount without discount, without discount. 
So, of course, we accept this discount because you realize that at this point, we are doing what? We are saving. The difference would be 48,692 will last 48,233. So that as at the end of the day, I'll be saving how much? 48,233. So 48,692 will last that to give us 459. So the company will be saving 459. So therefore, they should accept a discount offer. So you'll find that uh, this is how you can always tend to work out. And it is important that as you prepare, make sure that at least the concept of our EUQ, you know it is very uncommon, but uh, it is important for us to have this knowledge. So that point, guys, thank you so much. We meet in our next segment. Bye-bye.